you guys get to sleep in with your with your families for the trek. <laughs> or you can opt to also if the if the weather's really good, you can opt to just sleep in the under the stars, which the last state that said that they didn't, or you know, some of the families did, and it was really fun. So the one thing about this guys is um, the the supplies that you guys will need to provide. Okay, so the state will provide the tarp, and it's a 16 by 20 tarp. Um, you guys will need to supply everything else. So I have down on here stakes, 12 to 15. At Lowe's or Home Depot, they have these landscape nails for 70 cents each. Okay. Or if you have stakes, or if you know of somebody who does, the one thing that I would just suggest is that it be um, something legitimate if you bring out your Barney steaks from your kid's tent and the thing whips away, you get the picture. So, so just take that into consideration. Um, so so the, the lean two poles, you guys will need to provide three of them. And you can go to either Lowe's or Home Depot. They have the two by two poles in eight footers and they'll cut them to five feet for you, okay? So per, you guys, you guys can either do three or four, but the stake is going to provide. They'll provide one, and it's supposed to be like the the iron rod. You know, they're going to embellish it, decorate it. So that's going to be one of the ones that you can use, and most likely for the inner two stakes. Okay, the outside stakes in the middle of the stake, uh, you need to put a screw to receive the grommet at the top, and to have the have the um, rope line coming down to hold the thing hold the thing out. Okay, so, uh, so anyway, the other thing that I have down on, on the list too is ground tarps. It's probably going to be really beneficial to have something in between you guys and the kids and the, and the ground. That will be your responsibility. Okay, a lot of people have tarps. If you don't, just go grab a couple. So, um, so anyway, let me show you kind of how I put it up. Um, the nice, the nice thing about this, just it being so simple, is that what I did is just laid it out on the ground and I staked one side. Okay. Then I put the pole. I put one one pole in with the screw on the top through the grommet and put the tether line down. Okay. And this for you for you people in who know scouting stuff, this is a top line hitch knot, and we'll go over that too. And it's a great knot for this application. It's just a slip knot that'll hold itself wherever you put it. So if there's some slack in your line, you can pull it out and make it plus a bit. Okay. Then I came over and did this side. So I had I had the triangle on one side. Then I went over and did the other side. I I staked that whole side and then put the ones in the middle. Now these stakes in the middle. The one thing about this too, guys, is you're probably going to want to soften this. You're probably going to want to sand this, this edge right here, these four corners on this one, okay? And one of the suggestions that were made, if you, if you can see in there, the stakes in the middle have um, something to protect the tarp. So a shirt or a glove or basically whatever. Um, one of the suggestions from the last group was to put a tennis ball on the top. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, um, so, any questions about the tarp, about your lean to your shelter? <laughs> you guys are looking excited to sleep in there, I can just tell. <laughs> so, um, what, what the state has suggested, suggested obviously, is that uh, girls on one side and boys on the other with you guys in the middle. Like, you know, playing referee during the night. So, it's going to be a little, it's going to be tight. And I think, so I've got, I've got those poles at five feet, six inches. If you do them at five feet, I think it's going to, it's obviously going to give you a little bit more room, but you might have, you might have seven or eight feet. If you guys in the middle, yeah, it's going to be a little bit snug. Kids are bad. <laughs> but how long is the stakes going to be? Is it going to be five feet, six? No, I would just I, I put on there. I would just I would just plan to do five foot stakes. Okay. So and the other thing too, the kids could probably lay you 
you know, perpendicular with the, the side of the tent, and just kind of, you know, depending on how big your family is, really, you might have 10 to 12 kids, right? So five, five or six on each side. So, yeah, just pack them in there. And it's gonna be, depending on the temperature too, I mean, there's, there's so many cool variables to this whole thing. Depending on the temperature, uh, they might be cuddled up in a ball, in a little EV ball, or they might be, you know, out in the wild or whatever. So, okay, so that's that. Do you guys have any questions about that? If it is really cold, last year, uh, last time it was cold, and so we had tarps for the bottom, and then we ended up the second night, Aaron, we all got situated, and then he put a big tarp over the top of us, because we had frost all over, so the second night, it kept all our stuff from getting quite so wet, the frost, and he was taken on by the tarp, That's and now we were yeah. warmer the second night, because yeah. of that. Yeah, no That's a good idea. And tar tarps are kind of light, too. Bringing extras is probably going to be good. So somebody um, also mentioned um, sleeping hats, and I know that comfort it's, it's probably not going to be too sleep you know sleepful of a night, but just kind of coordinate, just kind of think about the room that you have in your um, in your hand cart if you want to bring extra like that. So okay. I wonder if we tell them if they could fit it in their bin, like because some kids have collapsible. I or if yeah. you don't open that up, I don't know. Well, they have, they have the air traps <laughs> too, but I know the ones that we have that my kids like are the big, you know, the fluff, the, the big ones. Yeah, which are impossible. And, but we have one yeah. that's big. Yeah. So, I think for you guys, I would consider that maybe the kids could rough it a little bit more. So, yeah, and it's gonna be. I mean, I I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys know that area too well, but between Pinto and Pine Valley, that road, I mean, there, I'm, there's some rugged area up there. I mean, we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna find a, a, yeah, a, um, a camp spot that flat and nice. And then the try to put the rock doesn't work. Yeah, and so that, that's a good, that's a good suggestion too. Um, that's a reason too to get the really beefy um, tent stakes, and these landscape nails are pretty tough. But if we're on if we're on solid rock, then I mean, so what what logistics is going to do too is going to set up the campsites. Evidently, each one of you guys will have like a, a handcart number, and that's where all the kids are going to be. You know, that's where they will know to go and meet you. So I will put a numbered campsite for you and try to get a really good location once we get to the campground. So, Especially if there's another Valley one, right? Yeah. <laughs> and when we go up there, I'll check that too, Jeff. I'll, you know, I'll check that too. It's all yeah, arbitrary, so though. Like it's it. just numbers. The hammer, the hammer part of our campground. Hammer's on there, and that's yeah, that's okay. one of that's one of the ones that you guys will need to provide. Yes. Okay. So you're saying these should be fine even in stony ground? These should be okay well, or something more heavy duty? Well, I'm saying those, those are pretty heavy duty. I'm saying something like that. Some of those tents, some of those little crook neck tent, tent, tent stakes, once you hit them, I mean, they you know, they can bend. So just it's good to be prepared as usual. All right, I'm gonna, we'll go over the top line hitch. I'll show you that um, at the end if we have a couple minutes, guys. That's just, so So tying this knot is really simple. It's like a five-step deal. So um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you.